Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Lauren. And we're here from SixSisterStuff.com. And today we are going to make honey lime chicken enchiladas. Now these enchiladas are so easy to make that even the college girls can make them. <laughs> um, Stephanie, uh, the fourth sister, this is her most favorite meal to make. Um, so we're going to start off real easy. So at the beginning of this, you need to make a marinade for your chicken. So we're going to take six tablespoons of honey. Do you just want to, you can take one of those and yes. just pour it into the bowl. There we go. Now honey sometimes is hard to get out of the container, so if you can do, yeah, make sure you use <laughs> always something to do that so you don't <laughs> waste any. Then we have five tablespoons of lime juice. Oh, you see it? Yes. Smells good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we have one tablespoon of chili powder. And then just a half teaspoon of garlic salt. And then we're going to mix that all together. Now earlier today I boiled some chicken and shredded it up and that's what we're going to use this marinade in. So when she's done doing that we're going to dump all the chicken in. There we go. You want to mix those all together? Okay. Good. Now with this marinade we usually coat it completely and then put it in a plastic bag and stick it in the fridge. And my favorite is when it uh, marinates overnight but we don't have a lot of time right now so even if you have not a lot of time you can do it even for a half an hour so we're actually not going to marinate it right now we're just going to coat it completely um, and then we're going to get going with the rest of our enchiladas so once they're completely coated now we're going to take our pan and we're going to put about a half a cup I usually don't do a half a cup just because I like the sauce on top of it so you don't have to spray your pan you want a half a cup of the enchilada sauce in the bottom of your pan and you want to spread that out really good. There we go. That's all. Okay, and then we're going to start rolling our enchiladas. So, do you still have... You, yeah. yeah, let's grab that. Want me to roll one too? Yeah, so I'm going to let you put the chicken on. So I usually... Okay. Yeah, just do it. And then... Yeah, so go ahead and spoon a couple pieces on. And then I'll put the cheese on and roll them up. Just in the middle? Yep, you just want it in the middle, kind of on the close to the sides. Maybe a couple more pieces. Perfect. Okay. Good, then I'll scoot over here. And we'll put uh, the cheese on. <laughs> and then you just roll it up. So you want to always keep your stuff in the middle, and then you're going to roll one side and kind of push it aside, and then roll it all the way up and then stick it on. Sometimes I lose things out of it and that's okay. <laughs> Enchiladas are always a messy thing to make. That's what makes them so good. Exactly, that's perfect. This is way easy. I'm sure my roommates would love this if I made it for Yeah. Oh, I forget, I have to wait for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine, that's good enough. Chicken. So our chicken, we had about four chicken breasts that we cooked together. Um, and then with our cheese, we have about two cups of cheese. <laughs> Perfect. And we don't want to use all our cheese because we want some cheese on the top. So I usually do about a cup in my enchiladas and then a cup over the top. Hmm, maybe one more? No, we need, let's do eight total. So we need two more after this one. Oh. I think I loaded too much chicken in them. That's okay. We can put, <laughs> my kids I don't like, like the chicken, so <laughs> do a lot of cheese on the last ones. There we go. Two more. Yeah, it'll work just fine. Okay. Just take from the other side of the pan when you're eating them later. There we go. <laughs> now sometimes I run out of chicken and I just make a cheese one. My kids like that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know the difference, I'm no. sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have you grab the other mixing bowl while I finish doing this. Okay. Okay, now this is my favorite part of the enchiladas because it's the sauce on top. Mm. So we are going to mix the rest of the green enchilada sauce and then about a cup of heavy whipping cream. 
And then you would also add, if you had any marinade left from your chicken, you would add that into mm. it too. But since it didn't marinate, there wasn't any juices left. So we're going to mix that together. And you can add salt and pepper too if you like that. I don't really love salt and pepper, so I just do it without it. All right, you ready to I pour on top? I <laughs> guarantee I'll be putting that. Just pour it over. Yep, so just make sure you spread them out um, amongst them all. Mm. Perfect. There we go. Good, good. Get all of it. Get all of it. All right. Just kind of spread it across. And then with the rest of our cheese, I'll let you do it. Right. We're just going to put the rest of the cheese on top. Now we have one already made, so I just want to show you what it looks like. These enchiladas will cook at 350 degrees for about a half an hour or until the cheese is melted and a little bit brown. Well, thanks for watching us today and hopefully we'll see you back again here at SixSisterStuff.com.